Watch out, this guy will kill you in one hit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's gonna go for the swing. Ah, oh, no. Oh, God. I don't think he was gonna do that, but he did. He smacked me. Bastard. That was good. I was not expecting that. He smacked me good. Alright. Welcome, guys, to another episode of Minecraft Mods. Uh, if I go ahead and try and find the location of this evil for us, Roth Nort, we will go ahead and demolish him. Kill him. Extract him from my Minecraft world. That is what we're going to do to this little bastard over here that uh, carries an axe of a thousand medals. He's got a sword, a diamond sword, stuck straight up his, I don't know what you'd call that, his uh, tailbone, I would say. I was going to say straight up his ass, but uh, if we go ahead and maybe go a little bit under, we can see under his ass. Can we go under, see under his ass? Uh, let's see. There we go. That's a, the best view you're probably going to get. But that's not how you kill this guy. This guy has a very unique ability of being almost invulnerable. So let's go check him out once again and uh, see what he does and what he's all about. Now, he has a couple of attacks. One being the most prevalent attack being the side swipe where he swings across from side to side and uh, takes out anything in its way. We'll sim simulate that right there. That's his swing capable of killing you instantaneously like you saw in the introduction of this video. Although, he doesn't really... He's not really fussed. He doesn't have a big radius over here. Somewhat like a maybe a creeper or so. But uh, he will walk. Check out his walking animation. Very nice. Very sturdy indeed. A big, big behemoth. But uh, we need to kill him. Alright, he's in our way. He's protecting the dungeon. We need to kill him. Let's go ahead and load up my class slot of my favorite weapons. Of my favorite uh, leggings and chest plate to give me a little bit of strength and hope into how to kill this bastard. Now, he does one attack, this vertical strike, as you can see right now, and slam him. And there we go, we killed him in a quick action like so. Although it doesn't really happen that often or that quick with a normal diamond sword, I have a very enchanted sword. Uh, and if we go ahead and show you guys that, I'll spawn another one. Uh, with a uh, normal sword. So if we go ahead and find myself. No, we're not going to find it here. We're going to have to go over here and give ourselves another egg over here. Spawn in survival. We get two items. And if I go over the axe of a thousand metals and the wrought nought helm, which uh, can be placed on your head for aesthetic, aesthetical purposes. And Volissimo, you have yourself a very nice helmet. Uh, that uh, can be very nice in a fancy dress party. I'm not quite sure where else you'd want to wear this because it doesn't do any damage or it doesn't protect you, doesn't give off any armor. And it, of course, has no... Oh, I, I said doesn't give off no armor, but it has no durability. It has infinite durability. Same with this axe of a thousand metals. You can strike as many items as you want. It will never explode or break in your hands. It has unlimited durability. Something I can't say about the same about with this diamond sword, which will try and take on this for us, Rort Nort. There we go, that side swipe. Let's see what you got. Another side swipe. Vertical, vertical, no, nah, another side swipe. Another, that's four side swipes. And a vertical, oh, he hit me, he hit me, and you got to smack him. There we go, and you can see that we damaged him. He got red, that means we've actually damaged him. And this, this technique would take around about 40 hits with a diamond sword. I have tested it out. That's why I have the enchanted diamond sword for this video purpose, to make it a lot quicker. So you've got to do a lot, like four dodges. There we go, that's one. Here's another dodge. And you also got to be careful, because... If you get hit by this, you're dead. So that's a third. That's a fourth. Maybe the fifth. There we go. Fifth slam. And there we go. Now he hurt his back. You can see the diamond sword in the back. So it gives off a little bit of a hint. Once you've finally figured out what to do with this uh, Ferocerot Nort. Uh, it's a little bit too late. It uh, gets a little bit boring. I throw water at him. I throw fire at him. 
potions. I think I threw everything at him. Even sugar canes and even books. He wouldn't die. You need to be careful. You need to be strategic on the way you attack him with uh, a choice weapon such as a diamond sword as he goes ahead and does these side swipes. This is the fifth and here's the sixth one. Gets We get stuck by it and oh, there we go. So this is the third hit and we're still going on and I'm telling you, you need to go ahead and hit him 40 more times before he dies. So uh, you need to be a little bit more strategic and give yourself an enchanted sword. And uh, once we'll do this, we'll cap off the video. Now, a couple of things that this mod can improve on is the coloration of this guy. I know it is the traditional suit of armor, everything's gray. But uh, for Minecraft, I'd expect a boss like this to have a little bit more coloration. A little bit more, uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd personally like to see a little bit more coloration of the mob itself. As we go ahead and kill the guy, burn him to death. Oh, there we go. Look at him die as we pick up his two drops that he always drops, the helmet and the axe. So this pretty much covers the entire mod. My recommendation for the mod developer would be a little bit more coloration in the giant. Although I definitely do understand if you want to keep him grey because that is the sort of uh, appeal with uh, the sort of suit of armor with this mod. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And oh, I almost forgot. The axe of a thousand metals uh, has a lot of uh, actual special powers, I should say, is that uh, you can swing it uh, like this and kill almost anything in your path. Although it isn't very strong, it uh, is actually a little bit weaker than a diamond sword, uh, but you can uh, have it for un infinite for an infinite uh, amount of times the durability of this guy is forever so it won't break down so you may have yourself an axe of a thousand medals for a lifetime to come so thank you guys for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe hopefully i have covered this mod in its entirety of what this mob has on for offer uh, you can actually find these guys scattered throughout your world uh, with an emphasis of finding them underground now I did record this guy underground although their mechanics aren't the best underground they sometimes get stuck behind blocks and it's just best to battle them out on the surface so as we have a very nice sunset I'd like to say thank you guys for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe this has been the life of Pablo have a nice day oh. I just found out I haven't been recording this entire time.